Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can train a state-of-the-art image classification model without writing any line of code. And for this, we will be using Hugging Faces, AutoTrain. So AutoTrain has built something new called AutoTrain Advanced and that's what we will be using. So you need to go on this website, huggingface.co slash AutoTrain projects. And there you will find this space auto train advanced so let's go to auto train advanced this is how it looks like because you need to be logged in um, to be using because you have your own data which is stored in your user and your own models that you will train so what you have to do is you go to this space and you duplicate the space so now the space will be duplicated to my user I can also duplicate it in an organization but I'll just use my user um let's call it my auto train and i keep this as private so now the duplication process has begun and uh it will take a couple of minutes or maybe a few seconds just to get this built great so my space is running but still not exactly running so what we need to do is we need to log in so we click on settings and here I have um, repository secrets so new secret and here I will add my HF token so now to find HF token you can go to your user click on settings here I have access tokens and uh, you need a write token so I copy this token and then I again go back new secret HF underscore token and you add the secret value okay so now your secret has been added let's factory reboot the space and now it should work great so the space is running now now it's asking me who is training so I'm training I can also choose an organization that I'm part of the only thing that you have to Keep in mind that you need to have a valid payment method attached to your account or the organization's account and it's not like auto train is going to charge you there is a free tier and using the free tier you can train for free and you won't be charged for that so let's name our project something like i'm doing flower classification flower classification for youtube okay and um, my task is computer vision and inside this I can select image classification or dream booth I'll probably make another video about dream booth but let's select image classification for now and now you have the model choice option so model choice is either auto train let auto train decide the model for you or you can choose a model from hugging face hub and if you choose a model from hugging face hub you also get this um, interesting list of parameters so what you can do you can add like uh, a job so I, I took Adam W torch let's do another job for um, with SGD let's change the learning rate in the SGD to something to e minus 6 and let's make it another job and then you can select which jobs you want to train and it will only train those jobs and everything is done on the auto train backend so you don't have to worry about it so this is the like the advanced mode and let's go back to the auto train mode because that's what we will be using and you can select the number of models you want to tune and now you need the data so the data set must be in a zip file and you have some helpers so you can see like uh, what should the format of the data be and then you can upload the file here so I have already prepared some data for flower classification so let's take a look at that so here you can see I have uh, two folders one is for training one is for validation if you don't have the validation set you can just upload the training set and auto train will divide the data into training and validation set for you so you don't have to do that so now if I go inside the train I see like I have uh, five different folders subfolders and these are my five different classes so subfolder name is the class name so I go inside daisy and see like I have 
pictures of daisy flower so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and uh, compress it into a folder send to compressed folder so now it's creating a compressed folder for me for all the folders together so that's the thing you have to remember when you unzip inside the folder you should not inside the zip you should not have one single folder but multiple subfolders for one for each class so I'm going to call this train.zip and let's go back to flowers and here I have the valid and valid should be same as uh, training in, in terms of formatting so the, num the number of classes and the class names should be the same and I also add this to valid.zip now I have got train.zip and I've got valid.zip so that means I can um, quickly train a model so now we can um, upload the data so let's upload the validation data first so here's my validation set if you don't have validation data you don't have to upload it um, it will be taken care of and here's my training set so just remember these are the zip files okay and as soon as it's done uploading it should give you an estimate like how much it's going to cost you so there is a free tier for a bunch of images there is a limit and uh, if you're below that limit it's free um, I think it's 3000 images or something like that 1500 for images it's 1500 images and uh, below that it's uh, free uh, above that you have to, uh, you have to pay so now I get an estimated cost 10 USD and I'm training five models so it's like two dollars per model and I think that's very cheap so what I can do is I can click on create project and then it's going to create a project auto train project for me and this step can take a while but the best part is all the processing of the data is happening inside your space so you don't have to wait for data processing it will do the data processing and if you have a faster space uh, with better specs it, it will be much faster so now it gives me the dashboard link and I go to the dashboard and there I can see the project by the name so here is my project flower classification YouTube and let's see what's happening so it's doing some data processing some of the jobs are processing some are starting and some of them are queued so yeah that's the best part all the data processing has happened inside the space so uh, if you have sp space with uh, better specifications the data processing will be even be faster so now it's training the models and uh, soon we should be able to see some kind of accuracy score let's increase the size a bit okay yeah so now uh, still training I think we have a lot of data so now you see we have some kind of accuracy scores and if we click on metrics we will be able to see uh, many more metrics and once this is done training um, a link will appear here when you click when you click on the card a link will appear and uh, you can go click on the link and your model will be stored in your own repository in hugging face hub and the model will be private so you can use it and we will see that we will try and the model when it's trained so let's wait a little bit more so i think one of the models is done it gives an accuracy of 80 um, and that's last on the list so I'll probably wait for <laughs> a better model okay so we we do have some models so this one is also done and now here you see um, it says view on model hub and this is the page that we get we have the metrics we have it says image classification we have the validation metrics um, we have one example image uh, but that image can easily be replaced so here you also have uh, the the hosted inference api and using that you can just quickly try the model so i'm just going to uh, drag and drop 
an image and see uh, if it works. So I have a sunflower image. Let me just drag and drop it here. Okay, and it predicts sunflower. Now the best part is you have the model, you have all the files of the model, so you own the model. It's not like you get only the API, you also get the model files. So you can also use Hugging Face to deploy the model if you want. So you have the inference API, inference endpoint, SageMaker or spaces, or you can just directly use it in transformers. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked the video. And if you did like it, do click on the like button, do subscribe and share the video with your friends. And see you next time. Bye.